Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining sign bar. So, let's get started. Now, here is the diagram of a sign bar. Sign bar is basically an instrument which is used to check the flatness of a particular surface. Also, with the help of sign bar, the angle can be adjusted. And as per the diagram which is there in front of us, it consists of two rollers as we see here. Now these two rollers are finely finished and they are perfectly ground. It means the diameters of the rollers are perfect and they are equal. At the same time the center distance between the rollers is fixed denoted as the length of sign bar capital L. Then there is a lower surface which is also perfectly flat and it is completely lapped and ground. Similarly, the top or the upper surface is perfectly flat or we can say it is lapped and ground. It means this is a highly polished surface and there are no surface irregularities on this sign bar. At the same time, there are perpendicular surfaces called as the end faces. Then relief holes are provided with the help of which the sign bar can be fixed at a particular location. Now why it is called as sign bar is that it uses the principle of trigonometry that is it uses the sine function to find a particular angle or to check the flatness of a surface. So how it checks that flatness for that I will explain it with the help of a diagram that here is the diagram which shows the application or the principle of a sign bar. Now at first Suppose this is the surface of the workpiece which we have to check or we have to find the angle of this surface. At first what we are going to do is by using another instrument called as the bevel protractor. With the help of the bevel protractor the angle theta can be found out roughly by using the bevel protractor and now once this angle theta is known sine bar uses as I have said the trigonometric function which is sine. So the formula is sine theta it is equal to the opposite side upon the hypotenuse side. Now when this sine bar is fixed these sets are called as slip gauges. So the sine bar is inclined at an angle theta so in that here we have a right angle triangle. I will just draw the triangle here. Here we have a right angle triangle in which the hypotenuse is corresponding to the length of the sign bar or the center distance between the rollers denoted by capital L. Then here is angle theta and opposite to that angle is the height of the slip gauges which are set. So by using this geometry we can find the angle theta that is sine theta is opposite side which is H upon the hypotenuse side which is capital L. So therefore basically theta would be sine inverse of H upon L. It means once we know L and L is the, the value which is fixed because the center distance are fixed. The rollers cannot move, these are fixed rollers. So capital L would be known to us before and small h can be found out. This small h indicates the height of the slip gauges. Slip gauges are set of perfectly flat strips of various thicknesses which has to be set over here. So once I have explained that with the help of bevel protractor, we can find this theta or angle temporarily and that theta we are going to keep in this equation theta and L is known. So first we will find what is H that is how much is the height of slip gauge which we have to keep. Then once this height is known that much amount of slip gauges we have to fix over here and keep the same sign bar on the surface which previously whose angle was measured with the help of bevel protractor. Now the sign bar is kept over that surface. And on the top of the sign bar, the dial indicator is moved. I will show it with the help of the example. That here, 
if it is a small workpiece then this is the angle of the workpiece which we have to measure so we are using the sign bar arrangement and the workpiece is kept on the upper surface of the sign bar and then this dial indicator is reciprocated along this surface and this dial indicator should should show a zero reading that is the pointer should be pointing towards zero reading then only we can say that the setting of this sign bar is perfect and it means this h value is known to us that is that h value and by using the l value we can now find the angle theta so once again i'll explain that when we have to measure the angle of a particular surface first get this angle temporarily by using the bevel protractor and get the answer of theta then by using this formula put the value of theta l is known to us get the value of height then adjust that height of slip gauges and keep the sign bar as shown over here and then keep the workpiece on the upper surface of the sign bar and then we have to just translate the dial gauge or the dial indicator which is a mechanical dial indicator and it should show a zero reading that is perfectly we have to see that this top surface of the workpiece is perfectly flat and this flat surface on which the sign bar and slip gauges are kept it may be a surface plate which is a perfectly flat surface and in that way we can get the value of theta so that is the application of sign bar similarly we can say that if the workpiece is bigger like i am showing the example here that if it is a big workpiece in that case the sign bar is kept on the workpiece and the arrangement is in such a way that here we get the height of slip gauges and similarly by using the formula sin theta is equal to h by l once the height has been adjusted the length center distance between the rollers is known we can get easily get the value of theta now one of the disadvantages of the sign bar is that it requires too much of setting it means it takes lot of time in order to calculate the angle at the same time here sign bars cannot be used for an angle above 45 degree it means it is there is a limitation that sign bars can measure angle only below 45 degree the reason being when the angle value increases the error in measurement will increase why because the dial indicator or the dial gauge which we have here it will continuously go on deflecting when the angle is up to it is if it is greater than 45 degree then the pointer would be continuously deflected that is it will become very difficult for us to keep the dial indicate dial indicator pointer to zero so it means if the angle measurement is acute that is also less than 45 degree then only we have to go for sign bar and as we have seen this instrument requires too much of setting but with the help of slip gauges there also we need to be accurate to adjust the height so it means this instrument is quite time consuming in order to measure the angle of any particular surface so in short that was an explanation regarding the sign bar at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching